we have an arithmetic progression, first term 2, common difference d. So the third term is going to be 2 plus 2d, because I add on a common difference twice. And the 13th term is going to be 2 plus 12d. We could use the nth term formula, un is a plus n minus 1d. You have to learn that, um, and it kind of, you know, it actually follows from understanding this idea, really, that we're always adding, whatever the term number is, we're adding one less number of differences. So these form the first, second, and third terms of a geometric progression. And hence, let's determine d and show that it's uh, an increasing sequence. All right, if this is a geometric sequence, then we are timesing by r every time. And so to get what r is, we would divide. We would do, so 2 times r is this. So we do 2 plus 2d divided by 2 to get back. But we could also do it by doing the third term divided by the second term. There we go. Um, and I think, I mean, there are, you could cancel some things out at this point. We could divide everything through by 2, and actually, maybe that is the best thing. So divide top and bottom by 2. We just get 1, so we just get 1 plus d. Sorry, I shouldn't say this is not equals, any, like, isn't, this is not r anymore, but 1 plus d is going to equal 1 plus 6d over 1 plus d. Okay, if you don't do that and you cancel out later on, that's absolutely fine. So then 1 plus d squared is going to equal 1 plus 6d. Expand this. d squared plus 2d plus 1 is going to be 1 plus 6d. The 1s cancel. d squared minus 4d is equal to 0. d, d minus 4 is 0. So d equals 0 or 4. Now, we were told at the start, actually, that d was non-zero, so I'll reject this one. So d equals 4. This means that our sequence is going to be 2, 6, 10, and so on. And um, what we'd write down that, basically, since d is greater than 0, So arithmetic progression is an increasing sequence. It would prefer to be decreasing, it would be negative. Okay, nice. Let me just talk about one other way to do this question. You might prefer it. So when we got to our 2, 2 plus 2d, and 2 plus 12d. You could call this a, a r, and a r squared, um, which actually would become 2, 2 r, and 2 r squared, from which we can construct some simultaneous equations. 2 r is equal to 2 plus 2d, and 2 r squared is equal to 2 plus 12d. So this one implies that r is equal to 1 plus d, and then we can substitute that in to here. So 2 times 1 plus d squared will equal 2 plus 12d. We actually get to the same formula I had there, because we could actually divide through by 2 to make it 1 plus 6d, and then it's exactly the same. It's just a slightly different way of thinking about it. Um, so yeah, you can divide just like I did to get some fractions straight away. Or this actually avoids fractions by considering simultaneous equations.